All right, so this video here is talking about a, um, a problem we had with uh, uh, changing out an LT1 engine. This is a 2015 uh, GMC with the 6.2 LT1 uh, engine in it. And uh, this thing broke a valve spring, uh, dropped the intake valve uh, on this passenger side front cylinder, uh, got into the piston, um, caused all kind of damage. So. Rather than uh, spending the time rebuilding this, we just bought a new engine, um, and we got the engine, got it put it in there, and it just didn't want to fire up. It was a long start, and finally it did fire, but we were getting codes of uh, P127C. When we looked that up, um, it says that it's not um, getting a fuel pressure uh, sensor, it's low. So, we started checking everything, and everything seemed to be good. Um, this is on the back of the engine we pulled out. You've got these two harnesses and these two connectors. This harness and this connector is for the passenger side bay. And this one is for the driver side bay. So initially we thought that maybe we had gotten these backwards because you can uh, flip them. But we found out that we had them right. When I did a little more digging, uh, I found on the uh, Skog and Dickey parts that um, people were talking about that some of these have a three pin connector and some have a four pin connector on the fuel pressure sensor, which is right here at the back of the uh, rail on the driver's side. So we checked the new engine and sure enough, it had a three pin and ours has the four pin. So I uh, thought maybe there's, you know, some way to repin it or change it and um, find out, come to find out that three pin is a digital and this four pin is an analog. So what we're gonna have to do is take out the um, entire harness for the uh, driver's side engine bay, in, uh, injector bank. So all we gotta do is just undo these little Velcro straps here and these injector uh, will come out, will pass through underneath here. You don't have to take this loose because these are one-time use uh, hoses and fittings. So avoid taking that, you, these will come out. You can pull out this and swap it. Uh, if you don't have one to swap like ours, you can buy a new one from Scoggin Dickey.